Let's try again. We can also improve the difficulty with uh, some challenge modes, greater risk, greater re rewards. Waves advance faster and enemies enter the fray more frequently. The starting wave is increased by 12. You know what? Let's try a run with these on and let's see how different it feels. Thermalands Flag Vortex. Charge up and release a slow moving roll roiling vortex. Targets are drawn into the vortex, receiving burn damage. Ignites targets for 30 burning damage per second. While charging, you take ramping hull self damage. Ooh. Vortex degradation rate scales with projectile count. Vortex damage scales with its charge level. Projectiles 1. Rate of fire. Modifiers to blast radius. Projectile size and rate of fire affect charge rate. Weird. I think I want to stay with some more basic things. For now. Let's go with flak. Wanna be relatively close to the enemy to do to use this weapon to its fullest. Halo, a searing hot ring burns targets with its effect rate within its effect radius for 180 damage per second, ignites targets for 120 burning damage per second. Take shield self damage while halo burns targets. Amp. While amp is active, increase trust and weapon damage. Damage is further boost for each threat inside the shield effect radius. And shockwave. Again. Uh, let's not go shockwave again. Let's try halo and uh, that does make sense with uh, a weapon already wanting us to get relatively close to the enemy. Although this effect radius is a bit smaller than I would have liked. Hey Chris, welcome. It's going great. I am having fun. Ooh. There we go. I definitely want shield effect radius with this thing. Spectre. You begin to cloak while you are not firing your weapon or moving quickly. Increase total weapon damage when you fire while cloaked. Firing or moving quickly causes the bonus to rapidly diminish. Assault. When you fire your weapon, has a chance of being empowered. Improved rate of fire, projectile spread and projectile velocity. Resistance to mobility reducing effects from your weaponry, but reduced max shields. Carrier. You automatically assemble and deploy swarm constructs, which apply vulnerability to targets. While a damaged shield protects you, you while well, damage shield protects you a portion of your swarm constructs are assigned to recover your shield while your shield is down or you have no shield swarm constructs gain increased movement speed and rate of fire reduces our rate of fire though that's interesting spectre is also interesting hmm i want to try carrier Maybe we can build around the shields, have our swarm construct recover our shields for us. Because Halo does lose some power. Uh, lose, loses some shield HP when it activates. I think I want to stay away from constructs this time, at least for a bit. I don't think targeting makes much sense. Energized shields. It's increased by your current speed. So if we're faster, our halo is stronger? <laughs> I don't know. Lower rate of fire, lower construct assembly speed. Thrust. Uh, 
That's kind of makes sense. We do want to be somewhat mobile. But I think I'm going to reroll. Shield durability seems like a good idea. Blast radius. Let's go with shield durability here. Yeah? Swarm constructs don't do a whole lot of damage, but they do make the enemies vulnerable, so they take more damage from other sources. Hull strength, velocity, targeting magnitude. Uh, let's get the thrusters now. Barrier, yeah, that makes sense. Streamline, increased thrust, reduced size and drone orbit radius. Reduced hull, reduced crash damage. It seems pretty expensive for pretty pretty steep cost for a little bit of thrust and size reduction. Deadly wake. What's the final upgrade on th uh, thrusters? Blink. Gain the ability to teleport ahead of you, becoming intangible for a moment. When you reappear, you push away surrounding targets and deal 25 damage. Okay, maybe it's worth it just for that. Uh, but I think I want barrier right now. That seems good. So we can, so our shield can take more than 25 damage from a single hit. And it also increases our maximum shields. Burn damage seems like a good thing to have with Halo. Kinetic boost, probably not. Let's go with Candescence. Shield effect radius. I definitely want that. Purge. Dealing crash damage head on to a burning enemy will remove any ignites and trigger purge. Purge creates a caustic nova that rolls over targets. The damage of purge scales with the combined burning damage the enemy is taking. Duration of purge scales with the combined duration of any ignites removed. Can be triggered on any one target every two seconds. That's pretty interesting. Probably not what we want to do right now, but could be a thing. Your damage applies corrosive stacks to targets, igniting them for 90 burning damage per second per stack. When a target affected by corrosive stack dies, it distributes its stacks to nearby targets. Additional stacks are distributed based on the maximum hull of the destroyed enemy. Decay over time more rapidly with more stacks and reduces our weapon damage. Uh, let's get the shield ref the shield radius. We we do care about that quite a bit. Oh, shield is down. Focus shield, shield effect power, maximum shield but reduced shield effect radius versus increased shield effect radius but slower cooldown and reduced maximum shields. Mm, faster shield cooldown also seems very useful with this build. Deadly wake would fit into our burn damage theme, maybe we wanna uh, spec into that later. I think I'm gonna go with the Radiant Shield here. I want the larger radius here, even though I don't like the... And now we are talking. That's a decent size. Regen, uh, probably want a shield regen later, so that could be a thing. Bravado, body gear base stats are improved by 10%, body gear unique powers are improved by 15%. Enemies encountered are always either elite or champions. Uh oh. Let's go with regen here, so we can pick up the shield regen later. Reflexive shields. 
When you take a shield hit, your shield discharges damaging energy in the direction of the offender. That might be something if we are staying close to the enemy. Corrosion is also interesting. I'm gonna go with Corrosion. Rapid Reconstruction. We definitely don't want to lose our shield with this build. Mines, Blast Radius. Let's reroll. Regenerative Shields. That's what I'm looking for. We adds passive shield regeneration. Shield regenerates at a rate proportional to maximum shield. When with shields up, shields regenerate at 75% effect. Hull at 50% effect. With shields down, hull at 100% effect. There's also deadly awake here and purification. More burn damage, more ignite duration. Increased hull recovery for each ignited enemy. Increased Shields recover it for each ignited enemy, but reduced weapon damage. I like purification a lot. That also gives us shield regeneration, so... We have lower weapon damage, so now we are even more... Uh, reliant on our shield doing the damage for us. I wonder how that's... Whoops. How that's gonna work out for us. Ooh. The damage seems pretty solid. Streamline again. Hyper metabolism. Increased regeneration rate, but a part of our maximum hulls and shields are reserved. That might be worth it. Weaponized shields. It's a weaponized shield effect to any shield. Targets within the weaponized shield effect. Radius. Take 20% total damage modified by shield effect power. That seems very good for us because we want to be... We want to have our targets in the shield radius. Omni shield. Plus 55 base shields. Uh, what's the base shield of Halo? 100. So that's quite a lot. Increased shield damage resistance, shield effect power. While the shield is on cooldown, it has greater resistance to cooldown delays from taking further damage, but minus 85% total maximum health. You know what? Let's go all in with these shields. There's regenerative shields that I want. Okay, our, our shield regen is quite solid. Perch, I don't think we want to try ramming into enemies, but maybe reflexive, reflexive shields kind of make sense. It also increases our maximum shields a bit more. I don't really want to build around weapons. Maybe uh, some more mobility things would be nice. Let's go with reflexive shields for now. Shield cooldown for sure. Although hyper metabolism is also tempting. You know what? I'm gonna take a hyper metabolism now. We're now very squishy if our shields are ever down. So let's hope that doesn't matter too much. Oof. Qu 
quantum decoherence, losing all rerolls. Uh, we still have five of those. Let's go deadly awake now. Now we have uh, a burning thruster path. That seems a bit hard to utilize, but we'll see. Whoa, this is an entirely different uh, build than last time. Definitely extremely different experience right now, but I like it. Love the variants. Oh, this enemy with this build. Oh, we, we, we will have a hard time. Ooh, our shield is almost down. Blink. Maybe that helps. Ooh. Singularity in the middle of a boss fight. Good thing my swarm isn't really affected by it. <laughs> that was that was a bad blink. But we somehow did it. Stabilization. Gain the ability to stabilize your momentum on command. At low velocities acts as a weak reverse thrust. That seems good, but I want a shield cooldown now. Energized shield? No, yeah, maybe. But I think the just the shield cooldown is more important at the moment. Stabilization would actually be kind of nice, honestly. Volatile shields? Sure. When it breaks? Uh, maybe not actually. Which, uh, yeah, it increases the maximum shields as well, so maybe we do want it. Let's get it. beam weapon there. This thing is burning down quickly. It's nice. Stabilization makes sense. Focus shield, I don't really want to reduce my shield effect radius, but the increased shield effect power would certainly help. Let's go, let's stabilize here. Yeah. Okay, that's... I need to change that. Um, gamepad controls... Stabilization... Do we have that somewhere? Stabilize reverse. Left stick pressed. That's a very weird... Positioning for that. That works. Yeah, 
Uh, the stabilization is mm, bad. Definitely nice for a build that wants to be in a very precise position. Flash shielding. I don't want to reduce my shields though. Not by 40%. That will be disastrous, I think. Power reserves. What's the final upgrade here? Strafe. Gain the ability to quickly dart forward or laterally once every second. Interesting. Maybe we want to take adrenal module. Targets take more global damage the more damaged you are. That seems like a good way to increase our damage. Hull strength. No ro rotation speed? That kind of makes sense. Global damage but reduced friction. I... With the stabilization, we probably could take that. I like the agility. Yeah, that's... That's a big difference. Not even really firing my weapon anymore. Yep, that guy's bombing down. Our damage is pretty good I think once we're actually in the correct position flash shielding and focused shields again energized shields reduced shield cooldown but uh, uh, faster shield cooldown and shield power is affected by current speed that seems good Well, now I kind of wish I had a longer range weapon just in case I can't get close to an enemy for some reason. That's kind of a downside that we focused on close combat as much as we did. Strafe. Streamline. Power reserves. Let's get Strafe. Even better mobility. Mobility is our most important asset with this build. Besides our shields, I guess. Kinetic boost. Yeah, that kind of makes sense now. Global damage increases as your speed does. What else? While you're not trusting, increased shield damage resistance and hull damage resistance. That's pretty cool, yeah. While moving at high speed, create a searing aura that burns both you and nearby targets. B oh, you as well, huh? I'm interested in that. Let's take kinetic boost.
Flash Shielding again. Galvanic Outburst. That does offer us some shield damage resistance and effect power. That does seem like a good thing for us. Yeah, I can totally see that, silly. Things... The... Uh, these... The individual effects are relatively simple. But... The synergy between them and the interaction is... What really enables a ton of options, I think. Uh, something is a bit weird now. My my uh, my blink sometimes triggers a strafe instead. Oh, there we got destroyed. That's a bit too much. But yeah, some somehow the blink and the strafe had a weird interaction there, and I couldn't always blink and sometimes would strafe instead. We got more rerolls. A new body type, the battery. Bastion shield. Nice. Halo. Not quite as good as our first run. But my piloting is probably not quite uh, on the level <laughs> that I would need to make this build really shine. We also played on a higher difficulty, so...